it's the dream come true of any collector or antique dealer to find that pristine, untouched, rare motorcycle. The amount of people uh, that are going to show up, that's really hard to say. We've never really counted. They're coming in faster than I expected this year, though. I know it would be more, but I don't think I expected this much more this early. Yeah, man! So, we'll okay. handle them, though. But it run like fully blown Don't care how fast it goes I'm just crazy about that chrome I take some pride in the ride Me and my Harley do a glide Do a glide, do a do, do, do glide Takes class, cuts and gas If you want to ride with me That gonna cost me. I want it on oh, tape. 30 bucks. 30 bucks? The whole kit with the screws and everything. It's not repo. Yeah. Where do you get that? Never yeah. mind that. Yeah. Tell me where you get it. I'll give you a dollar if you tell me. Please, no. give me the parts. How much Please. is there? Well, I'll, I'll give you it all. You take a check too? Uh, no, anything. well, I'd rather have a check than uh, this one. I don't uh, think uh, this, uh, this uh, is any good anymore. Uh, it's the last light that you have. You mean you don't have a check? Uh, I'll make a check. I'll write it on your hat. Just no, no. I'm, they uh, won't take it on hats uh, anymore. When you get a check, come back. I don't <laughs> want money. Uh, Antique uh, motorcycle collecting is not a hobby, it's a disease. Could be a sickness, you know. You know, you see new old stock parts, and when you're starting to, you know, you, that's a sickness. You've got to have it. It might not even go on, but you say, geez, that's brand new. Indian part, brand new, right? We were talking about that. Bill Patton I last night. Everybody he says is guilty of that. See a new old stock bike, you don't really need it, 
I gotta have that. <laughs> yeah, it's just something that strikes their fancy. I don't know. In my case, my father would never let us have motorcycles when we were kids. That may be my reason for it. Uh, the antique motorcycle, people, is a love of the mechanical. The antique motorcycle is a, is a thing of beauty to us because everything shows. Of course, modern motorcycles, they, you know, the Japanese is all, stuff is all fared in and everything, and it loses some of the functional beauty that we have. People like that. They like doing the mechanical work on them. But why do people collect buttons, if you please? Why? All I'll say is that's a good question. I don't know. That would, you'd almost have a, a psychologist to, you know, to define that. What, what, what makes a man gather, whether it's money or diamonds or jewelry or paintings or coins or stamps or motorcycles? You know, what makes a collector? That's a tough one. You'd have to have, you know, there's got to be some psychological basis for that, you know. About 50. About 50. I try to get one of every year so I can start, and I just bought a four over there, so I start from four to 53. I fill them all in later, you know, I buy them, they were 10 years apart, then five years apart, finally I got some model, you know, scout, cheap, four, whatever, but as long as that year, without changing numbers or something like that, you know, in other words, authentic. So I didn't count any bikes as a bike unless it was 95%. You know, there. Like I need another one of this. You need a belt drive this or a belt drive that. And you, they come from all over the place. And when he leaves this earth, the collection goes to the four winds. You know, I mean, it all. He puts it together, and then it goes all over, and somebody else starts. It's very strange, but uh, we're only caretakers. You know. The guy with the most toys when he dies wins. Maybe in the case of motorcycles, it's with things that run with two wheels. Many people that are involved in this club have other interests as well, whether it's cars or trucks, um, clocks, doorknobs, there's something for everyone. Why someone necessarily picks motorcycles other than that they're just fun to ride, I'm not sure. Okay, one of the things that Harmony offers that it's not a vendor event but it's more for the uh, general public especially people who have never seen antique motorcycles is they put on a series of old competitions that were pro probably held as back as early as the teens come on guys bring these motorcycles into the track area let's see who can ride this iron the theme of our meet is games like they did in the uh, the old days, the gypsy tours. I want to see that barn over there empty. Let's get every one of those bikes into the competition. We took that theme, we're going to apply it to a modern day thing, use some modern games, some things we've incorporated in um, that you would have never found back in the 30s and 40s with games from back in that time. These are the types of things that if people don't know antique motorcycles, if they go in and see it, they're kind of amazed that these things actually exist. It's not what they equate to motorcycles. It's a, a competition. Uh, there's about nine or ten games all together. We're doing a point standing. You have to compete in all games to, in order to obtain a first through fourth place trophy. I don't know how you're going to run the slow race, <laughs> but I think it would be fair to everybody have an equal chance. Uh, slow races, how slow can you actually cover a field without tipping over. You know you're going to win the damn thing. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, right. no, I'm not. you got to no, be I'm the not. best rider here. No, I'm not. Well, I wouldn't bet on that. There's the water race where a guy drives his motorcycle around a course with a cup of water balanced on his head. Yo, rider, riders meeting. Riders meeting. Who's got the most money on it? <laughs> I did, dude. Whichever fits. You've got to really enter every event in order to because become the king of the road. Okay?
Number one, bike number We will have the king of the road announced very shortly. It's just, we see we have a, uh, a red-headed gentleman. He can only uh, count on his fingers and toes. He's trying to get his shoes off now. Um, the only thing I can think of doing is changing the screen. How much uh. gas have you got? <laughs> Well, that's it. They were very close when I came inside. Um, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. First place. The man at the beginning of this whole competition was bragging he was going to win it. This is the number one. I think he's also one of the oldest AMC members. At least, at least he looks it. John Chester, come on down. King of the road. Yeah. Congratulations. Well, uh, John, congratulations. congratulations. John, how about a couple of words? Speech. 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 Come on. Yeah, just a, come on, here you Thanks go. Thanks, somebody.